Great. Well, thank you very much, um, Glenn. And yes, I'm mindful of uh, it's the very last thing. I've never had to wait so long in a conference to be able to stand up and speak. Um, so thank you all very much for sticking um, with me and coming to my session. I really appreciate um, having you here. Um, so just a little bit of background about me. I started life as a neuroscientist, so I'm a, a science um, uh, uh, academic, and I've moved into educational technology only quite recently. I have two jobs. Um, I have a senior management job within the university, which is to be in charge of everything to do with digital learning at the university. And now I have a, a small role as a professor of educational technology where I do the research on the projects that I'm doing at the university. So I hope today to be able to reflect on some of the challenges and issues that I have in my role in terms of implementing large scale um, technology and projects in a student education environment, drawing both on my own research and the research of the literature. So. The key um, issue for me uh, at the moment is this intersection of everything we've been talking about over this conference, the move to digital, ubiquitous digital access of mobile devices, technology and student expectations, and how we can harness that to give the very best online learning experience for our students, and in my domain specifically is the higher education domain. So I'm going to try and focus on these three aspects um, throughout my talk. I'm particularly interested in trying to make you very best use of technologies to support students' learning, whether it's in a classroom environment, in an informal learning environment, or entirely online. And that comes from the fact that my job has to span those three sectors. I have to try and support academics who are teaching in a predominantly face-to-face -face domain and academics who are teaching in a blended domain and in also academics who are teaching entirely online. So uh, throughout my talk, I'll try and reflect on all three of those aspects of education and how technology can support us moving between them. Now, we've... Uh, been talking about this for the last few days, but it's always great to talk about maths professors, uh, because in my university they will be the last people to make any kind of change in terms of digital technology, so I feel like I have to poke fun at them every time I go out. Um, now you could argue about this statement, I've put it as a statement, uh, I feel that there is a need for change, particularly in the way that we do large group face-to-face -face education in the higher education sector. I don't think this depicts as an effective learning environment for students. Um, having been a teacher, having been taught, and talking to very many students in my role, I get the sense that 